Summit Man is starting up his own trash pickup business. The biggest thing he hopes to pick up are those customers who felt neglected from other waste management companies last year. 41 Action News covered several stories regarding continuous trash delays in the metro in 2016. Prairie Village gave up on Deffenbaugh in September and signed a new contract with Republic Trash. Other communities in Belton, Brookside, Parkville, and Overland Park were sometimes ignored for weeks at a time. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth introduces us to the newest competitor in the waste management market with a story you'll only see right here on 41 Action News. Jared Gravatt is ready to pick up where other trash companies have left off. They're not being able to cover those routes. The Lee Summit native bought and refurbished this used garbage truck. He believes his new company, Gravatt Waste Solutions, will outperform the current competition. I saw a big issue with the trash here in town. Myself, I've had issues just, you know, skipping, missing every couple weeks. Gravatt started picking up trash here in Lee Summit just this week. He already has 100 customers. There was a huge need here. I mean, a lot of complaints, so um, it was a great opportunity to get into it. And, I'm, you know, I'm excited to, to be a solution to the, uh, the problem here in the community of Lee Summit. And issues with trash pickup haven't just affected Lee Summit. From Overland Park to Parkville, trash piled up through much of 2016 from companies such as Death and Ball and Town and Country, now known as WCA. When the trash is not picked up for a week, it's a health risk. Prairie Village ditched Death and Ball in September after continuous pickup delays. To date, we've had over 300 complaints we're aware of. And the city of Kansas City warned WCA to clean up its act that same month. We met with Deffenbaugh back in August, who told us the delays were due to the truck driver shortage in the workforce. That doesn't meet our service levels, and we know it doesn't meet the customer service levels either. And although Deffenbaugh has made efforts to hire more drivers, Gravatt, with his new company and just two employees, is driving now. Never thought I'd get into the uh, the trash industry, but uh, it's recession proof. Josh Helmuth. I'm gonna outwork the competition. I mean, I'm really, customer service is my number one priority. 41 Action News.